Hey, okay, I've got a UAP. There is the bidding. Um, it's an anti pick, anti drill, anti bump, anti Christ of a lot. Um, funny thing to pick. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you why if I can get it open. Um, but yeah, high one and two, then go lower three, four, five, and a high six at the back end. There we are. Nice, smooth, works well. Top of the keyway and a Peterson, uh, well it was a Peterson 3 or 4 that I've uh, made considerably thinner and smaller. Right, okay, so I'm going to wiggle my way down the back, painting my way through. So one, two, three, four, five. Six little creek there where I touched six. Hopefully I've set that and five went with it. Um, coming back slowly. So nice and gentle. Pick on one. Little click on two, but I think it was more my pick was slipping off. Little creek on the call when I touched four. So one's all right, two's all right, okay, four's all right, five's all right, didn't quite get to six, but. I don't want to overset anything, so I'm going to start at the front again. Uh, a little click here on two. A very small list turn on the call. Felt something drop. A little bit there on six. Gave me a nice, well, the first bit of feedback I've had for a while. So that's probably spooled down the back end there. Ah, and there we go, magic. On pin two. Phew. Okay, let's not do what I did last time when I tried to dismantle this, which was to lock it up. And I have this, so I've picked it once before. Ah. <laughs> uh, So yeah, this time, as I need to keep it open. Oh. Otherwise it'll be a faff. Need to be, uh, trying to get the pins out with spacers, which I do want to try and avoid. Right. Okay, let's have some fun with some clips, shall we? Right, so the best thing I can do now is to turn that upside down and insert this. Okay. That should hold it. Of course, the clip is there.
Yeah, so I've got nine of these if I haven't uh, said that already. So, uh, yeah, great challenge locks. The first one, I made a challenge lock for Potty and Locks of Anarchy from one of these. Hopefully it's this one, if I can get this bloody clip up. Uh, with the spaces in. I didn't know they didn't all have these spaces, and I went to pick another one on camera, and it didn't have it. So, yeah, Locks of Anarchy and Potty, you've got a cracking challenge lock on the way to you. <laughs> I, did, I did pick one of them. It took me half an hour. Oh, shit. Sorry, well, they're all the keepings anyway, so uh, <laughs> excuse my French. But it does have the spaces, which is good. I'll show you that in a second. Brilliant. Okay. I've made a bit of a balls up here, but I pretty much know where they go. Christmas balls up. Okay, so it'll be something along those lines. Oh, the deep swore was there. Oh, this one has, has it. Yeah. Okay, so there's the bar, right? So excuse me, I was getting a bit confused there with that. So this is the way it went. I did see it before it all flew out, uh, and it's pretty much the same configuration as the challenge lock I made. Right, let me show you this. So down the bottom, uh, if I show you the plug first. So this is, I think, one of the anti-pick features of it. You've got this plug that have got these cutouts, look. And I think they must move around a little bit in the chamber. I don't, obviously it's a round chamber. I don't think there's much wiggle room in there, but maybe just a little bit is enough to cause a hang up either side of this if you've got a bit of a false set going on because of these very deep spools. Okay, so we'll go into that in a bit more detail. And in chamber two, you will see that there is a deep counter milled bit, the end of my finger there. And that is for this tiny, this tiny little pin that I just lost. Okay, that's got a big ridge around the top of it which sits in the counter mold bit and hides up in the top. Oh, come on, fix that. So that fits in number two. Obviously you, you're with me, what I'm saying. So into that there and sits in there and is a different size from the rest of the pins, which look like that down the bottom. The rest are standard keepings. Obviously, this is a small one for the other sort of high cut as well. And there's the rest of them there. I think three and six are the wrong way around. Um, and then up the top, we've got uh, standards in one, five, and six. And then in three and four, you've got these very deep spools, which are really, really quite cool, little steel spools. And then in pin two, the corresponding bit to the crazy cut out bits in the sides that wiggle. I think this long bar, which uh, is the driver pin, can get maybe caught on the sides of these because it's pushing down, it's over twice the size of a pin. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, a cool little feature if it is doing that. If, it's, if someone knows uh, a little bit more than I do about it, uh, please feel free to comment, let me know. I'd be uh, quite interested in it. Um, Yes, so that goes in there. 
Uh, I did take that bar out for the two challenge locks I made for those boys. Um, I thought fear's fair, it's, it's hard enough with the rest of it, so uh, <laughs> I took that out. Uh, and that is it, uh, nothing else to show on that. So yeah, that is the UAP anti 